Paramount. Will somebody buy us, please? Somebody who's not Warner Brothers? Anybody? Hello? Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Thanks, gang. I'm gonna miss gathering around to look up in the sky and list things that fly. Not that secret if you're advertising on the side of the bag. Yeah, the arrangement was fun while it lasted, but these shorts are expensive, so let's just make little Lulu instead. Oh, I wish I was a Carl Meyer story. You may be seated. Faster than a streak of lightning. But not as fast as a streaker on Small World. More powerful than the pounding surf. But not as powerful as a skeet surfer. Mightier than a roaring hurricane. But not as mighty as Bob Dylan singing Hurricane. From the planet Krypton, the man of steel. Larry Boy? Superman! Damn it. Possessing remarkable physical strength. And possessed by Pazuzu. Never ending battle for truth and justice. Yes, it's never ending. Anyway, here's the final episode. But really, these cartoons are mostly about petty squabbles with Lois at the office. Our story begins with Doug Benson's weekly shopping. Hurry up, Clark. Maxwell Smart needs this phone booth. Now look here, Kent. You Is Perry White voiced by Dennis Day now? But Chief, but Chief, have you heard about Hugo and Kim? Slide into first. The irony is they were driving sober on their way to get drugs. Wait, if you're going to steal my car, I need to warn you the left blinker doesn't work. Take a left at Dutch Angle Boulevard. Dick Tracy's Crime Stoppers, The Ride. Wow, this is a sturdy rear member. The no ghost guy was right. Those cars look like they're having fun, Bill. Let's join them. Clark spoons the car, one thing leads to another, and that's how Lightning McQueen was born. I see Spider-Man swinging overhead. Shoot him. Oh, good. Now the gun can be found by a small child. No, they took out the population of Strong daddy -a. So the chasers pass the person they're chasing who stops the cops from chasing them? That was a close call. I've got to get to police headquarters immediately. So I can talk to someone other than myself. How did they knock Superman unconscious? Roderick Spode? I send you out to bring back that woman. Now who will I take to prom? You let her get away and bring me this fool. If you were efficient, you would bring me a whole chain of fools. You must be stopped. They are probably the largest and most ruthless gang of saboteurs in this country. I know. For six months they thought I was one of them. Oh, Lois dyed her hair blonde and is finally turning in the rest of the Daily Planet crew. Her hatred of Clark pushed her too far. They will stop at nothing to recover these records. Police Captain Kangaroo. To Washington. Mm, I understand. I'll see that you have an escort to the airport. Boy, they really fixed headquarters up after the bulleteers incident. Why does one of the sirens just sound like Sam Kinison? Bridge to Airport Bithia. Let's see how the cops like it when we hide back here with the speed trap. Mr. Bullets on my shoulder. Let me get out of this bulletproof car. The tragic death of Arthur Fonzarelli. Suckers, this was all an elaborate ruse to steal a police car. A bridge. Nothing bad happens to those in these cartoons. She's got flu. Evil Abbott and Costello are on the case. Quick. Control tower. That's where Maxwell Smart needed to get. Did she drive to Brisbane? <laughs> ah, that lever controlled a multiplane camera. Those pennies won't know what smashed them. Gives a whole new meaning to we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I forgot how to use the brakes. I don't know if that's proper push-up technique. All right, really got to draw this pose out. Dropping some sick beats. Oops, I pulled the glass breaking lever. You know what really grinds my gears? Are those the same wires the mechanical monster dropped their loot into? 
No, the falling tower destroyed my sense of the geography of the scene. Wish I could see over there. You making that noise, Locke? Why did they lock up a payphone? It's not moving forward. The wall is moving backward. Hello. She's trapped on the bridge. She's with Midge? What are you saying? Hello. Edridge. Hello. Hello. Not one of Bob Newhart's better routines. Something went wrong. That downfall scene is lower key than I remember. Oof. Man, this guy's heavier than a Kryptonian. All right, the grill's heating up. The burgers are almost ready. Death Zipper. Always leave your unconscious captives behind two locked doors. Let's get one last bit of shadow play. Does this look like a job for anyone? Whatever, I said one line as Clark. That's all the dialogue I'm doing this time. Ugh, so impatient. Taking the stairs won't kill you. Buzz is battling Zerg in the shaft. So you guys feeling sushi, or...? What's this load? Are we passengers on a most uncommon elevator? Oh boy, I got a big one on the line here. Zoom tight, but solid with two. Schmeiß die ein. It's wicked! It's so wicked! The Oneidos are the champions! That was fun, but I wish I had more glass to destroy. Say! The bridge has rotated eight times by now. She's basically a waffle at this point. Meanwhile, on a Brio train set. She's pinned down by imperceptible contrast. Holy smoke, she's a tune! My god, it's full of stars! Superman, barely stronger than a bridge! Oh, that's what happened to the burning cabin on Tom Sawyer's Island. So, you feeling sushi, or...? Oh, uh, thanks for taking me all the way to DC, I guess, but man, that was a waste of a plane ticket. This gender-swapped reboot of Mr. Smith Goes to Washington is weird. Ending a superhero movie with the flag feels hollow without New Yorkers yelling about messing with all of us. Superman will return in an endless stream of reboots produced by a different studio! And with that, we conclude our riffs of all of the 1940s Superman cartoons. Again, aside from the ones we skipped because they were too racist to be funny. It's bittersweet coming to the end of this era, but I'm happy we had so much fun with this series over the past couple of years. I am extra grateful to my patrons for all of their support, and for joining me in all the live streams I've done over the years as I wrote these Superman riffs. These patrons joined me in the most recent live stream to help me say goodbye to this particular iteration of The Man of Steel. If you want to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access, and additional pledges get you access to other bonuses, like our podcast At Home with the Doggins is. On that, my my wife and I talk about all sorts of things. Theme parks, MGM musicals, you know, things cool kids like. But if you don't have money to spare, you can keep up to date on what I'm doing with my free email newsletter, The Doggins Digest. It's a weekly-ish newsletter that lets you know what I'm up to and where you can find me, without, you know, relying on unreliable social media algorithms. Of course, next month we won't be visiting Superman anymore, but we will start a new adventure with another beloved superhero from a competing comic book company, or at least a Republic serial character who shares a name and basic costume design with the beloved superhero. But first, next week we'll be visiting another beloved icon of pop culture, who recently became eligible for such riffs, and I may even be joined by a friend or two to help out. So until then, this is Dave, signing off.